Hi, this is Sarah with Main Street Florist in Carlinville, and this month we are arranging with these gorgeous oriental lilies. These are big blooms, so you're gonna need a big vase this time around. The first thing we wanna do is to remove the pollen from all the stems. Once we've done that, they'll be easier to work with and we won't be staining our hands or any of the surfaces we're working with with the pollen. The pollen inside the lilies, once they've matured a little bit, becomes dusty and that dust can stain your hands, it can stain your tablecloth or any fabric it might touch. So by removing it, we're just gonna save ourselves some trouble later. I definitely recommend working with gloves while doing this to not stain your hands. So now that I have my gloves, I'm just going to reach and try to grab all the pollen at once, gently pull and remove the pollen. You will notice there's a little bit of kind of a sappiness. Again, that's just part of the flower. There's nothing wrong with it. One tip is, is flowers like lilies can be toxic to pets. So please keep your lilies away from any dogs or cats. That goes for the petals, the leaves, the stems, or even the water that your flowers have been in. Keep them out of reach to keep your pets at home safe. If you notice that there's any pollen still left inside the bloom, you can take a dry brush like this um, foam brush or any sort of dry brush, and you can just gently sweep out any of that extra pollen. I've got a mix of colors here just to show you the different varieties that are available. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. This is supposed to be a fun process. What's great about lilies is they're very easy to arrange and do a big, beautiful bouquet that are pretty simple. Don't overthink it, don't overwork it. What I like about them too is because of the laterals and the way that nature has created them, they're easy to kind of crisscross and create that grid that we're always talking about. All right, let's start designing. So I've got a larger opening to my vase this time around. It's gonna make it a little bit easier to arrange. I wanna make sure I've got my flower food in the water and I'm gonna remove any of that foliage that's going to be below the water line. I want this bloom to sit kind of right above the lip. I'm just going to put in my first stem. I'm not going to overthink it. And as I go around, I am going to think about my color choices, whether I'm going to group them or spread them out. I think I'm going to spread them out just to kind of have a nice mix around my base. So again, I'm looking at my lowest lateral and I'm kind of thinking I want that to be right at the lip of the base. Make sure you're cutting at an angle so that your stems are gonna get a nice good drink. And again, crisscross our stems. This is an easy flower that you can get a lot of height and drama with. I'm gonna go in with my next stem and see how it's already placing itself. You guys, I'm hiding behind this this time, but that's okay. You don't need to see me. You just wanna see the gorgeous flowers and how. Oh my gosh, look at this stem. How gorgeous. So lilies, whether Asiatic or Oriental, that's just two different types of varieties, can have up to six blooms that are gonna open from the bottom up. So these are nice and open and mature, but these are buds that are still going to open. So that's why they're great that you get a long lifespan out of them. Okay, I'm gonna kind of work him right through the center because I've got big blooms open on either side. And I am just working with 10 stems right now today. Kind of spin my face around, see where I might have holes. This is looking gorgeous already. And then we have a little bit of tree fern that is going to be with your subscription this month too. So now that we have our lilies arranged, I'm just gonna add this in in spots that I need it. You could either collar it, you could work it through. It's all up to you and how you decide to arrange your, uh, arrange your flowers. I've got space sort of at the bottom of my vase that I am just gonna collar it around the bottom. Tree fern is a really long lasting foliage. Just kind of has a whimsical, kind of feathery texture to it. But also really fills in nicely. Clean up my space here. Okay, you guys, there we have it. There is our lily bouquet. 
So I'm so excited for you to dine with these this month. It's easy, don't overthink it, just have fun. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to message us or leave a comment and we're certainly happy to help you. Keep in mind your lilies are gonna last the longest if you're changing your water out daily. And as blooms start to mature and look sad, don't be afraid just to trim them off because you're still gonna have more buds that are continue to open. And as those buds open, don't forget to remove that pollen. That's just gonna keep your surface clean. And again, wear gloves so that we don't stain your hands. Thank you guys for joining us this month and we look forward to seeing you again next month.